lovely people, welcome to Ezra Wellness, where you learn proven ways to help deliver. This is your lady Salome here. I'm a nurse and a functional nutrition counselor. In this video, I'm talking about the number one contributing factor to high blood pressure that you might not know. So stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I say subscribe like this video share it and let us all grow healthy together in this video i'm talking about the number one contributing factor to high blood pressure that you have not heard of so what makes high blood pressure so dangerous you know when you are diagnosed with high blood pressure and it's left untreated it could lead to complications which include end-stage kidney failure to the point that you might need a kidney transplant. It could lead to heart disease. It could lead to vision problems, even to the extent of blindness. It could lead to stroke, which is the most common cause of disability among people around the world these days. And these are some of the contributions of high blood pressure. So you're watching me. You have been diagnosed with high blood pressure. Your doctor have told you to cut back sodium cut back that exercise you're doing all that but your blood pressure still cannot be be under control you've been giving different or multiple medications but still you cannot get it under control i want you to watch this video to the end so that you will know exactly what to do what is the number one contributing factor that i'm talking about today insulin resistance or higher insulin levels or hyperinsulinemia all these names means the same thing that means you have too much insulin in your bloodstream than your bodies could than your cells could use and therefore it's contributing to your blood pressure issues you've heard of insulin resistant but because you don't have diabetes you did not worry about it since i started practicing as a functional nutritionist seeing clients and helping them manage different kinds of problems i realized that those who even come to me without blood pressure issues once they start to cut the way they eat and change it their blood pressure start to normalize and i recently read a book the case against sugar that also confirmed this thing that i was seeing in my practice so i was compelled to make this video so one let's see how insulin contributes to your high blood pressure number one when you have higher insulin levels the insulin tells your kidneys to hold on to sodium it acts as an antidiuretic so once sodium is one of the electrolytes that regulates the blood volume in our bloodstream so when your kidneys hold on to sodium water will follow sodium to dilute it and by so doing it causes your the amount of blood that is circulating to be higher raising your blood pressure that is one way another way that insulin levels higher contribute to high blood pressure is that it stimulates the central nervous system causing you to be in a sympathetic nervous state like the flight and flight response where it raises your heart rate it constricts your blood vessels causing your blood pressure to go up these two ways are some of the ways that insulin contribute to high blood pressure so if you have high blood pressure and you've tried everything and it's not working i want you to do the following to see if it will help to reverse your blood pressure one cut back on refined carbohydrates your cake your bread your cookies flour food, your pizzas and those stuff, please cut back on them. Cut back on sugar. Sugar found in sugary drinks, sugar, high fructose corn syrup, regular sugar adding it to food and all that. Because all these foods causes your blood glucose to go up and causes your body to release higher insulin. So if you already have insulin, too much of it, and you don't want to get more, so you want to cut back on these foods. Point number two, you want to decrease 
the amount of times you eat carbohydrates in a day. And when I'm talking about carbohydrates, I'm referring to your resistant carbohydrates, like your yams, your sweet potatoes, your millet, your plantains. Those carbohydrates, you want to eat it once a day. So when you wake up in the morning, you go for a green smoothie or a green soup, eat, let's say, your plantain and your sauce in the afternoon, and then have a salad or some vegetable also for dinner. Do this for about six weeks. See if it helps your blood pressure. Point number three that I'm going to say is that introduce intermittent fasting. Because intermittent fasting is the number one contributing factor to lowering your blood insulin levels. Because you know when you have too much insulin and you want to get rid of it, at times when you are not eating, your body brings the insulin levels down. And when insulin levels go down, you are able to use your fat stores. So please, introduce intermittent fasting and see how it helps. Salome, I don't know how to do it. I haven't done it before. Get Ezra Wellness Guide on your intermittent fasting and see how to use it to help you lower your blood pressure. Another thing that I will say is that make sure you're having a good night's sleep. When you do not sleep, your body perceives it as stress. And when you're stressed out, your blood cortisol level goes up, releasing more blood glucose. That is making your insulin peak and contributing to your high blood pressure issues. And the last point I will say is that manage your stress. That one your doctor have told you manage your stress because stress causes high blood pressure. But you do not know why your stress was contributing. Now you know. Stress will cause your blood cortisol to go up. Cortisol causes blood glucose to elevate. Contributing to higher insulin levels. Thereby causing your blood pressure to go up. Now you know. These things you could implement to see if it helps to regulate your blood pressure. Salome, I've tried them. I don't know where to start. Get in touch with your lady Salome. Let me make a specialized plan specifically for you and see how you could help manage your blood pressure. Thank you so much for watching this video. Are you new to this channel? Please subscribe, share it, and let us all grow healthy together. Until I see you in the next video, remember, this is Ezra Wellness, where you learn proving ways to help to live in. Thank you for your time.